Each fall, sailors from across the country make their way to the shores of Lake Harwell in Anderson, South Carolina. They bring their tents, campers, and families to race sailboats, reacquaint with old friends, and make new ones. Beyond the sailing, this is really for a great cause, raising money for the Hospice of the Upstate in South Carolina. This year's regatta festivities kicked off on Friday, October 12th, with a night of socializing and live music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The next morning, boats were rigged and launched just before the skipper's meeting. You really? 
Thank you everybody for your patience. Appreciate it. On top of all that, we lost our printer in the whole process, so we're gonna have to go high tech, so just bear with me a little bit. Where's Ronnie at? Anybody see Ronnie? Ronnie Ashmore. He probably is. Probably cutting trees down. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <huh? laughs> All right. The man with the plan. All right. So. All right. First of all, you know, thank you so much for everybody for coming and putting up with yesterday. Yesterday was bad night here, and we kind of made up for it today. On um, the of course, we did four races. What did the keel boat do today? Three? Good job. Distance, of course, he did one. But uh, great conditions today. And I want to thank everybody for supporting us through this long weekend and helping us achieve or try to achieve our goal. We'll talk about that in just a minute. And first thing I do want to do is introduce Linda McConnell, who is the board chair of the Hospice of the Upstate. Linda's right here. And the CEO of the Hospice of the Upstate, Annette Miller. Annette, would you like to come up and say anything? The CEO always has something to add to the story. <laughs> I just want to quickly say thank you to all of the sailors who totally supported Hospice of the Upstate, and you do each and every year. It means so much to us. Um, we utilize the money to support terminally ill patients and their families who can't afford care. And at Hospice of the Upstate, we're one of the only hospices in our area that actually take care of indigent patients and families and have a hospice house that they can come to. So I appreciate you all, um, all weekend long supporting us in our hospice program and year after year you're doing that. It means a lot to our program to continue on servicing those patients. So thank you very much. Thank you, Matt. A special thanks to a few people, uh, Dennis Baker, Lisa Baker, Bruce Busby, who are our PROs. Thank you guys, thank you very much. Lisa likes to do the scoring, and if you've ever done scoring and you know everybody's waiting for you, you know how stressful that is, especially if you have some issues. So thank you, Lisa. Where is Lisa? Lisa, Lisa, Lisa. She might be at the beer keg, so. Uh, Anna K. Lord for running the raffle last night. Let's hit it for Anna K. Of course, Charlie and Sandra, how about all the food all weekend long? And a special thanks to Olivia. Where's Olivia right here? Olivia actually had the nerve of having a baby a couple weeks ago. And so what that kind of did was that kind of pushed a lot of responsibility on Olivia who stepped up. Thank you very much, Olivia, for all your efforts all week, all year. Okay, let's go ahead and do the fleet winners. So bear with me, I can't see my screen here. All right, let's start with the Buccaneer fleet. Third place, Ronnie Ashmore on Vespula. Yeah. Second place uh, is Andrew Dodd on Artful Dodger. And first place is uh, Jimmy Yurko on Wasabi. Flying Scott Fleet, third place, Charlie Buckner. Second place, Chris Herman. And first place, Beckett Break. Crew, Bo Break. Great job, buddy. So the most embarrassing part of this whole event is that Sandy Eustace and I have a side bet. He had to actually seek redress to beat me. And our bet actually is if he beats me on uh, my leg or if I beat him on his leg, it's a bottle of rum. So I beat him in the spring, right, at his event. 
He gave me an open bottle of vodka. Oh, that's awesome. Can you believe that? I would never do that. Sandy Eustace? as well, Rob Groskis. Yeah. And before we get to first place, Chris Myros and Will DeHart sponsored the, all the Clemson sailors to come in, paid their registration fees, paid their meals. So thank you guys very much. That's what people say. Thank you. And first place on Fast Eddie, our Western Carolina's own Chris Katsky. I'm a 
first timer. <laughs> At what? <laughs> okay, we got the center board fleets, the green fleet, third place. Distance fleet, that's why she's here. Distance fleet, third place, the green fleet from Kiwi Sailing Club, Rick Harper. Let me check his rating. Yeah. Second place from Western Carolina, Chuck Ballou. First place, Joey Waters. Uh, fleet, the Red Fleet, third place on the San Juan 21, Joe Martin. Oh. Oh. Nice, sir. Good job, Thank you. Here we go. Second place, chair, bro. Tommy Smith. <laughs> First place on boat named Heathen, John Tyner. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so Yellow Fleet is third place from Western Carolina Sailing Club, Hugh Van Loudon. And in second place, uh, Patrick Hop on Camelot. Speech? I've said enough today. And in first place, Western Carolina's Ben Gibson. Thank you very much. Okay, with that, we're going to uh, draw the winner of all the fleets that will be representing Western Carolina Sailing Club at the Hospice Regatta Alliance, which is going to be held in uh, Charleston this next upcoming year. So I need somebody to come draw a name out of the hat right here. Anybody, step forward, don't be shy. Bo? Bo put up with me all weekend. How about a hand for Bo? Yeah. If you draw your dad's name, Rebecca's name, go ahead. The one that's taped to the bottom. It's taped to the bottom. <laughs> that one? Give it to me. <laughs> it is Chris Kapsky. So the overall winner is Chris Kasky. We're gonna try. We're gonna draw two more alternates in case Chris can't go for whatever reason. We'll draw two more alternates. You need to know the weekend now, Chris. Okay. It's the weekend of the uh, National Bison Celebration Week held in Charleston, Idaho. All right, Bo. Two more. One. This is the first alternate. And this one is. Uh, Joey Waters. Yeah. One more, Bo. One more, brother. Thank you, Bo. I said that all weekend. Thank you, Bo. All right, Dennis Fisher. Yeah. Sailing for others. Ronnie, I'll let you take that over. We did really well, just not quite as good as last year. Um, we were a little over 27000 last year. This year, ended up at $23,888.09. And, yeah. so as part of this, we um, offer the anybody that 
raised more than $500, a chance to enter a raffle for a one-year membership or the equivalent thereof to Western Carolina. Second place is half a year, third place is a one quarter. And so we had over four, we had 14 people earn over $500. John and I exclude ourselves, so we're down to 12. So um, the ones that are entered into this raffle is Chris Myros, Cyril Gurren, Dennis Baker, Tim Crane, Mark Bailey, John Bernard, the Clemson Sailing Team at $1,035. It's not your money, it's your friend's money that you win in the hospital in the upstate. And so, you know, you just got to reach out. If you don't ask, and, you, and ask any of these folks that do it, if you don't ask, you're not going to get it. But if you ask, you'll be truly amazed, because people believe in hospice of the upstate, believe in hospice, and they'll, they'll support you. Look at the Clemson kids here. What, of course, they probably hit their parents up, but I mean, still, a thousand dollars, and they didn't start until about Wednesday. <laughs> and so, it, 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 it does, I, I sent out a, a refresher email before I went on the water this morning, and uh, for people I'd already contact, thanking them if they contributed and, and encourage them if they didn't. And I got back off the water with three hundred more dollars. All you gotta do is ask. That's all I got. Thank you. Thank you, Ronnie. Yeah. Ashley, this is where we you got the drum roll right here. Yeah. Yeah. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Well, before we start the drum roll, can we give a huge, huge, huge hand to Ronnie and John? <laughs> If anybody would like to help, we always throw that out there. Come join us. We have a great lunch. It lasts about two hours. Sorry, Annette. Um, but we do work during our lunch. So um, it's really fun. And they do a great job planning this every year. So thank you so much. All right, now drum roll. All right, this year we raised $76,000. largest fundraiser out of the five or six that we do every year and it's about one-fifth of our whole fundraising budget so this event is crucial to us taking care of patients and families so thank you so much from the bottom of our hearts so thank you That's on. Let's see, our goal was 85 so i don't want everybody to say oh man we didn't make our goal yeah. no well i always like to push to me you set goals that sometimes are stretch right and last year we our goal was seventy five thousand, and we raised eighty two thousand. So I said, you know, hey, why not eighty five? But seventy six is probably our second or third highest total ever. So let's not, don't be shy about it or upset about it. It's a great amount of money. We greatly appreciate everybody's support as we go through this. You know, my goal, my personal goal has always been a hundred thousand dollars, and so we're going to keep at this until we hit that number. Then I'm going to retire. No. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but that's it for this year. There is.